In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, how can I link or connect what I am reading to my own experiences? We have been learning about how to write a good response to communicate our thinking about what we've been reading. Sometimes when we are reading, it reminds us of an experience we have had in our own lives. Today, I want to teach you how to make those connections that better help us understand the story that we are reading. When we make connections while we are reading, we better comprehend or understand the books we read. Your teacher will show you what making connections means through a read aloud. Your teacher may choose the suggested read aloud from the Jan Ritz Richardson lesson, The Relatives Came by Cynthia Ryland. The goal is to make connections and record them on a think mark to practice what you as the students will do on your own during your independent reading later. Your teacher will label a chart connections. On the chart, you will list some of the questions that you might consider as you read, like, is there a passage in the story you found meaningful? Have you had any experiences like those of a character in the story? Is there a character in the story like you? Did this story change your thinking about something? Take a moment to think about this story. What did this story remind you of in your own life with your own family? Turn and talk to a partner about a connection that you had in the story. Remember, as you read to think about the connections you are making and how it helps you understand the story better, write your connections on your think mark. These notes can help you as you write your response letters. Some sentence starters might help you write text to self connections that might be, this reminds me of, the text says, if that happened to me, I would. A text to text connection is between the text and another book or text you have read. A sentence starter for a text to text connection might be, this book reminds me of, title of the book, because, a text-to-world connection is between the text and events in the world. Television, internet, and movies often provide text-to-world connections. A sentence starter for a text-to-world connection would be, this book reminds me of the real world because. Today, while you read independently for 30 to 35 minutes, make connections to what you are reading and write them on your think mark. Text to self, text to text, text to world. And for today's book club discussion prompt, share with one another the connections you made while you read and what you recorded on your think mark. Be sure to record what you read on your daily reading log.